First at six, five candidates have been fighting for your vote to be the next mayor of Myrtle Beach. And one candidate, Gene Ho, has talked in the past about the conspiracy theory called QAnon. New Tonight at Six, News 13's Matt Fortin shows us Ho's ties to the group. My name is Gene Ho. In this audio clip provided to News 13 of a 2019 QAnon rally in front of the Washington Monument. It's you, Illuminati that has taken America. You can hear photographer and now candidate for Myrtle Beach Mayor Gene Ho speaking to a crowd. They take us Q believers and they make us into tinfoil hat wearing people. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. We here in the Q community, we all here are the ones with the beautiful families. We're the ones here with the businesses. This photo of the event shows him perched on a stage in front of a giant Q and hashtags like MK Ultra and Pedogate. Q has waken us up. Yes. Q has made us alive again. And Q has taught us to think for ourselves. He's found success over the years with his Grand Strand photography business, having worked with everyone from the WBTW team to former President Donald Trump, something Ho is proud to share in appearances around the country, including at QAnon events. QAnon is a conspiracy theory alleging that the world is run by Satan worshiping pedophiles and former President Trump was fighting against them. It's not Republican necessarily as in being pro-Republican. It's anti-democratic. It is not about disagreeing on issues. The, they see the liberals and Democrats as truly their sworn enemies, really or enemies of God. The FBI earlier this year said some QAnon followers will likely disengage from the movement since Trump left office and the failure of promised QAnon events to happen. It warned, though, some domestic violent extremist followers of QAnon may change from serving as digital soldiers to real world violence. Former Democratic consultant and current professor at Duke University, Mac McCorkle, says although Q followers are a small minority, they have the potential to have an influence on the political scene. Elections where they're low turnout elections, they they start to really can start to really matter in the Republican Party. Ho's campaign disclosure shows QCon Live paid him $1,000 for a speaking engagement in October 2020. The QCon Live website says it brings together freedom-loving patriots, including followers and influencers of the Q movement, among others. There, he mainly spoke about working with former President Trump and promoted his book, different than his 2019 rally appearance in D.C., where he mentioned adrenochrome, a chemical some Q followers believe the elite harvest from children's blood to use as a drug. Q has mentioned blood 17 times in his post. You can check it out later. This whole thing of what we're doing is all about blood. Q says constantly, you check the bloodlines. We know they've been misusing blood with their adrenochrome and all this stuff. Yeah. Yep. But ultimately, ultimately what this is about, it's about blood and it's about blood from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take a look at Ho's donor list. You'll find supporters scattered across the country pitching into his bid for Myrtle Beach mayor. He has spoken on local issues he says he'd prioritize as mayor, including limiting government to help small business. You get out of the way. You take government and you say, we're going to leave you alone. And a crackdown on crime. We're going to go downtown, look at the drug dealers in their eye, and say, you got 45 days to get out of here. During a News 13 debate, Bob Juback asked Ho about his relationship with the Q group. I spent the last two and three years on a book tour. During that time, I probably did about 150 to 200 events. Out of those events, three, maybe two or three were QAnon events. I tell you what. The Q community are some of the most nicest people that I know of, and I love them. But the thing is, to attribute the whole belief system of everything based upon two or three events that I did, I think is stretching. Despite our multiple requests, Ho and his team did not agree to be interviewed or comment on this story. In Myrtle Beach, Matt Fortin, News 13. And you can see News 13's full Myrtle Beach mayoral candidate debate right now on WBTW.com. Just as a friendly reminder, Election Day is coming up tomorrow. You'll also find a list of all of the races across our area on our website. And count on News 13 to bring you the results from tomorrow's vote, both on air and online.